YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I'm here with the Just Us League. And it looks like Amber Heard is caught up in some shit. <laughs> Celebrities have weighed in on Amber Turd. That bitch is about to get her shit wrecked on Monday. And I can't wait. I would like to officially announce that me and the code yeah. will be covering the trial at 9 a.m. on Monday. So make sure you guys are here. And it's going to be very, very, very enlightening. And I promise I won't quit. Okay. Too soon? Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and see. Celebrities are taking sides in the Johnny Depp Ever Heard trial. Let's see what celebrities it is. Let's see what's going on. One layer of crazy. It's a seven-layer dip of insanity. Never been kissed star, as previously said, on the Drew Barrymore show. Drew Barrymore show. Yeah. We know that Jason Momoa is now following... Johnny Depp, which is pretty cool, which shows that Jason Moore is kind of like, what's up with this bitch? I'm, what's going on with her? And there's rumors coming out from Aquaman 2 that Jason Momoa and Amber Heard have a terrible lack of chemistry, and a lot of it has to do with the Justice for Johnny movement. And Lisa Bonet is good friends with Johnny Depp. And Aquaman, the Aquaman star, is very close to his ex-wife, Lisa Bonet, and the mother of his children. So, Chris Rock looks like he's one of the guys. He stepped up and he made a joke about Amber Heard. Let's go ahead and see what happens. According to the Bridges Digital Publisher, publisher uh, he told the crowd, believe all women. Believe all women, except Amber Heard. <laughs> Johnny going to slap one. That's tough. <laughs> believe all women except Amber Heard is what he said. Oh, shoot. And we got this uh, sex thing here. What's this? Uh, Ireland Baldwin. Okay, let's see. Ireland Baldwin called Heard a terrible person on Instagram story amid the trial. Quote, the thing is, I know women who are exactly like this. Alec Baldwin's oldest child said late April. Quote, they are manipulative and cold and they use their very womanhood to play victim and turn the world against man. Because we live in a society where it's cool to say that men are all the worst and blah, blah, freakity blah. Joe Rogan weighs in. Controversial, yet awesome. <laughs> he says, I'm, wa I'm watching this trial, and it's like it's a cautionary tale about believing in the bullshit, forming a narrative in your head like, we're rebels together. People are just that manipulative and full of shit like that. Doug, Stan Doug Stanhope knows her. Stanhope's buddies with Johnny Depp. He wrote something like a little essay about how full of shit she is, and she threatened to sue him. And I think he had to wind up taking it down. <laughs> Bill Burr, you know this dude don't hold his tongue. He had like a 15-minute bit roasting Philadelphia <laughs> in just how terrible and god-awful <laughs> that city really is. Oh, my God. And Jody Joe definitely agrees with that. <laughs> Bill Burr said his shit. He says he's too big a Johnny Depp fan to watch the trial. But he said he thinks people should apologize to the Edward Scissorhands star if he if Heard loses. He says, from what I've seen, this guy is freaking, this guy is effing destroying. The guy is effing destroying. The uh, He said, uh, and what's great about this is if he really does expose this woman for lying, I'm wondering, all these people that, you know, just accepted her lies about him, if they're going to apologize somehow. Nope. No. They never do. Jennifer Anderson. So you don't think they're gonna have any accountability and say, "No, I'm sorry, Johnny. I'm sorry, Johnny. Johnny." No. I think that they will apologize in droves. I, no. You feel like they need to make a "We Are the World" video? Yep. With, uh, Johnny needs to get. John, they need to book Johnny to a ten a ten year, hundred million, hundred and eighty million dollar contract. No, it's not. Nah, that's not going to happen. Why not? You're just gonna get a pat on your shoulder and move on. You gonna get his career back? He's gonna oh. get his award from the case. That's it. You only gonna get nothing? No. Nah. He said he already lost when the, from the beginning of the trial. The, yep. second, the second the thing took place. The yep. court of public opinion has turned on that bitch, Amber Heard, though. Her lies have been exposed to the point where celebrities are finally starting to come out. That's usually the last thing that happens. But when celebrities everybody, speak, all them contracts that dropped them before, wouldn't you be a little angst? Wouldn't you have some animosity towards them for not believing you in the first place? Yes. yes. Johnny Depp lost millions of dollars. If I'm Johnny Depp, I'm probably never going to work for Warner Brothers again. He ain't working for Disney again. Probably never going to work for Disney again. Well, at least Universal, Paramount Pictures, <laughs> Sony, as soon as you can do a deal with. Uh, Our girl Sony. Jennifer Aniston, how many of us have them, friends? Great show. 
Uh, Aniston's supportive depth has been more subtle than others, taking social media to quietly take a side. She says she's 53 and has already started the Black Mass Star reportedly turned the gesture recently. What does that mean? Following, oh, she started following Depp. Cool. Howard Stern, Mr. Controversial himself. Oh, my God. Not as many celebrities have come to, How- to Hearn's defense, but Howard Stern did not hold back in blasting Depp for his overacting at the trial. <laughs> Depp? The legendary radio host said on Sirius the reason he wanted that on, he wanted it televised because that's what narcissists do. He says, I think Johnny Depp is a huge narcissist and what I mean by that is he figured, I'll put this on TV, and because I'm persuasive and because I'm so smart, I'm such a wonderful guy. If he isn't acting, I mean, he's so overacting because he's writing his own material as he goes along. You know, I got to tell you, he's wrong. He shouldn't be putting this on TV in any shape. Howard Stern, you're an idiot for this shit. <laughs> this is the dumbest shit I've ever heard come out of your mouth, bro. What did, what did Amber do? Blow you in the parking lot, my guy? <laughs> This dude definitely got his face buried in her freaking crotch. Ah, you just exposed yourself as a motherfucking Amber Heard pussy licker, bro. You're trash, my nigga. And what he said it was garbage. What? <laughs> this um, trial has done nothing but expose Johnny for being innocent and Amber for being a huge, manipulative, exaggerating liar. I think, like this, I, think this, I think this... I think it being on TV is the best thing Johnny could have did. Is it's the best him. decision, you freaking and idiot. And Howard Stern has been on the radio every day for the past 30 years. So with like, cameras. Right. With ca- Radio with cameras. You don't even need radio. You don't even need camera for radio. Howard, you're a freaking hypocrite. That's why your show's freaking failing and shit. You don't talking. like how Johnny He talks. went PC and shit. Johnny be talking, uh, you know, he be talking slow and shit. Why yeah. are you mad at that? Oh. He said yeah. he's overacting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. he didn't say he was wrong. He might not like uh, Johnny Depp, but he didn't is, say he was lying. That's mm. tough, bro. I think that's some some really, especially for who Howard Stern is and what he makes his career off of. I'll never forget what you do to Beetlejuice, that little black handicapped man with the little head. <laughs> you exploited the shit out of that man, bro. Oh, my God. Howard yeah, Stern. he did. Yeah, there was a point where Howard Stern had respect for being against the grain, but I heard his show is dog shit now because he's PC now. He's afraid to get canceled. Oh, Howard PC? Stern, you a bitch. He's had... <laughs> He's had some P stars going to his show. Yeah. And squirting. What the frick? It's tight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Elizabeth Bar- uh, Barkin. Ellen Who Barkin, I'm sorry. Let's find out. Uh, she will testify in the defense in the coming weeks. Ellen Barkin is set to show her uh, support for Amber where it matters most in court. The big easy actress who's 68 will take the stand to testify on behalf of her because she previously alleged that Depp was abusive to her when they dated. Oh, yes. <laughs> Johnny Depp dated her 68-year-old self? I believe, I believe that she, this is the name of the person that they mentioned in the court trial, which I don't think this is necessarily true. I thought that Barkin was on Johnny's side and said that he was never abusive. Hold on, let's go ahead and get back into this. Barkin also issued a statement in Depp's trial against The Sun in 2020 claiming that the actor thrown a bottle of wine across a hotel room once and gotten jealous and angry. However, Depp claimed that his ex held a grudge against her allegations were untrue. Uh, they dated briefly in 94. Oh, yeah, this is the bitter woman. This is that bitter woman that Johnny left for the other hotter chick. How many oh, years ago was 94? 94 was 28 years ago? Yeah. So she's 78 now, 68? 68, so she was 50? Wait, 40? Wait. Yeah. 1994. Wow. That's a long... Wow. And Johnny had to be in his early 20s? I mean, 20s, right? Yeah, he was 20s. He had to be in his 20s, yeah. Probably in his 20s, yeah. Wow. Wow. So what do we think, bro? I think that you guys need to watch our coverage starting (laughs) at 9 a.m. on Monday. We are going to be covering the actual trial. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have this watch party commentary live. Me and the code will be there. It's going to be dope seeing it live. Come watch it with us. With our commentary. And then after that, Andy of Popcorn Planet, he's going to go live at about 2 p.m. Pacific time. We'll send all of our viewers right over there to Popcorn Planet and then go and join and celebrate that big, huge live stream that he's going to have there. And then hopefully we'll be able to pivot him right back to Nerd Report. So start the day off with Jody's Corner, 9 a.m. Pacific time, right here on Jody's Corner. And it should be a blast. Around the horn, final thoughts. What you think about what you saw, Sat? 
J.C. Tejada, man. If something somebody did 28 years ago, he threw a bottle of wine at the wall. Do you think that should still be legible in court if she wasn't hit with the bottle or anything like that? Is that even, I don't know. J.C. JC Tejada said he wasn't even born 20, 28 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's a long time ago for him to lose his temper. If you haven't heard this between men and male, they was hard pressed to find witnesses for John <laughs> for Amber. Oh shit! Flash, humans lose their tempers. We all know that, mm -hmm. and it's up to them. And either you will get abused by it, or an object is going to get abused by it. And obviously, the bottle hit the wall, didn't do anything to her. So yeah, she's really just want to hate Johnny because Johnny left her. Yeah. That's some BS there. She shouldn't even be on trial because of that. And then, and then Howard Stern, what he said was, he needs to just hide. Crazy. He needs to hide under that rock again, bro. I forgot that he was alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so. there's a lot of people that, that are standing for Johnny with great reasons. This is this is this is the good thing for Johnny. So Johnny really he's doing his thing and he's doing his thing in court. They all catching Amber uh, Amber Heard um and her lies. This that this this whole thing shouldn't even be going this long, but I, that's how court is. So. And Howard is losing ratings and nobody paying attention to Howard Stern show. They busy watching the, Correct. the trial. Correct. This is the biggest Correct. thing in this this is the biggest thing in the past 5 years has happened. <laughs> on on t as far as stars, he got he got crucified in the court of public opinion. So now he wants to be exonerated in the court of public opinion. That's uh huh. Right. She's, She's just bitter that she got left, and Johnny traded up for a uh, a more beautiful woman. I don't even know who was the next. She had Johnny was. Depp when Johnny Depp was Johnny Depp too. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's why Johnny Depp dipped on her. He dipped on her cold. And right they thing. said briefly. Uh. Did hopefully, it. hopefully, uh, the court of public opinion helps Johnny. Yep. Because, let's face it, people have got gotten canceled for less based on, uh, you know, social media and all that. So, with the social media and everybody picking up, and now celebrities, you know, they have the biggest boom when celebrities say some shit. A lot of people pick that up. So, hopefully, all that gets on his side. And the reason I keep saying hopefully is because, let's face it. How many how many athletes have been accused of rape and then it turns out they didn't and they you know they still get the wash anyway. Yep, yep. So hopefully this is a turnaround. Hopefully all of this like you said, after Johnny gets some, you know, gets some work with whatever. At least the people you still want to work with. Hopefully that turns around. Because if that's not the case, then all of this would have been for nothing and there is no hope. If there's no hope for Johnny, there's no hope for me. Public opinion has been won by Johnny Depp. He has yeah. nothing to lose. It's America, bro. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Jody Joe. We out. Do -do 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 -do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in this Monday, 9 a.m. Me and the Co. will give you the live coverage of most of the Amber Heard trial. Let's laugh this bitch into oblivion and give some justice for Johnny.